I always think of the motor scooters. It's a, oh. it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, if it were the only mode of transportation, it, it might be it might be different. But yeah. uh, I, you know, I've taken care of many people who have been injured on those things. We don't mm -hmm. see uh, routine helmet use right. with those, right? I mean, we work so hard to get people to understand that if you're going to go out and ride a bike, you need a helmet. Yeah. Um, and in come these uh, these rentable electric scooters and I uh, and and people aren't wearing helmets when they're when they're riding these things by and large. And then our infrastructure and our roads and our, our traffic patterns aren't built for them. They're not right, right. for the sidewalk. They're not right for the road. And most places in America don't have the ideal accommodations for bicycles. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, I. I have not seen numbers on this, but it has it has to be meaningful. The number yes. of people, what not just concussions, but broken wrists and scrapes and bruises and other injuries. Oh yeah, they they're the bane of my existence on the sidewalks here in DC. <laughs> yeah. No, just to interject, I am dumbfounded every single time I see one. Every every <laughs> single time, it never fails. For the past four years, if I see one person riding, and just like, why would you take that risk? There's no room. Yeah. Like you're going 20, at least 20, I dumbfounded every single time. Yep. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. <laughs>